Right, everyone, welcome to the vlog. It's your boy Ray. Today is Tuesday, October 13th. So we are, um, I think, about almost uh, two and a half weeks since I last competed. I'm still in a uh, reverse dieting phase or recomp phase, however you want to call it. And I still have my lanyard on me. I still have maybe like another week to go, but I just started upping my lows. Like I actually started my uh, training plan, getting my volume in for training, because I really need to do as much as I can up until April. So, because I do want to uh, compete in April, even though I'm very skeptical about size, because you know I'm very small right now. I want to say no. I'm gonna say I'm not very small, but it's just. In bodybuilding, I just feel small, you know, so it's one of those things where I don't feel right for it, but at the same time, you know, I'm, I have everything there. It's just my muscle density is not as great as everyone else's. So today, you know, I want to make this a short vlog because this is actually a, oh, around the time, roughly-ish, uh, even though it's kind of more like the, the beginning of October, this was roughly around the time where I actually started thinking about becoming a bodybuilder and so you know this is what really started to drive the vlogs because i wanted to to see this change i wanted to document everything down how i felt about you know contest prep how you know i'm changing from a fat ray to a skinny fat ray i guess and you know step out on stage for the first time in 2013 so yeah october October around this time 2012 I declared I wanted to do my first body building show uh, in the following year 2013 and you know my mentality back then was you know I need to do everything possible to get on stage and you know I started you know like I said around this time um, six months almost so that's like almost like 28 27 28 weeks to compete in April and I tried to do everything I read a lot of things like um, various articles looked at forums read other people's prep journals and I tried to manipulate all that uh, you know in my own way and while I did get the results that I got down at the same time it's just I really didn't feel good about myself going through those preps now going into the next year it was a lot better experience this time because I had goals. I had goals rather than to step out on stage, you know, and to, to be a bodybuilder. I had goals in order to improve my physique to get to, you know, to step on stage with whoever's going to be standing next to me, whether they, they are a guy not ready for it or the guy who's going to win the whole show. I had goals and I did not feel scared stepping on stage in 2014 compared to 2013 so I definitely was more focused this time than ever before and that year I really felt like that was a good year for me that was you know I applied a lot of things that I learned from other people that I met through the shows um, the judges what they told me and what I needed to work on and you know and all the compliments that I got from just everyone like I had a better mentality doing these shows and it's like I'm so I'm so driven to do much better now fast forward to this year now when you know I did my first show this year just uh, you know two and a half weeks ago and I did not think that I would be able to do better than 2014 because I feel like genetically that was my best but this year was my best <laughs> or this year is going to be my best because you know now I understand you know, not only the training, you know, uh, the experience of cutting, the experience of getting heavy, I actually know a lot more about how my body functions under, you know, uh, the manipulation of nu nutrition. And I th so this year has all been about, or this year as in like when I started my off season and, you know, doing my, my prep and such, like this is the year of me, like kind of putting all the pieces together, like, um, I understand the training. That's like the first thing that I knew off the, or not the first thing I knew, but the first thing I started really learning off the bat and adjusting to a nutrition plan was like the hardest things. And I think right now, 2015, I have everything down. <laughs> I have everything down to the point where I feel like I could train other people, but I'm not certified in anything. So don't ask me for <laughs> any training. I want to be a certified 
coach. Like I want to have like personal trainer certification, blah, 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 you know, all that jazz. So that way I have some education credentials to go along for it other than, oh, competed for three years, won first place in a novice division and also has posing awards so I could do posing coaching, you know. I want a little bit more before I could um, advertise all that or at least uh, share my experiences with friends. But anyways, uh, 2015 has been uh, a culmination of everything coming together and, you know, going into this prep for the Washington State Natural in 2016, even though it's six months away, I actually feel not scared about going through it, you know, even if it's six months away that I have like a lot of time, you know, to cut before I step out on stage, I have, a, you know, a lot of extra leeway to improve my physique. I'm not scared about doing it. You know, the only thing I'm scared about is, it's just, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not big enough to be a bodybuilder. That's the only thing I'm scared about, but to step out on stage at whatever condition I am, at whatever weight I am, I feel good. I feel good regardless. So. I should never, never have a I quit mentality unless it's a, you know, a dire emergency or, you know, I, you know, like I put myself in the hospital or something or personal issues, family or a close friend passes away, you know, stuff like that. That's the only time I would say, you know, life is better than bodybuilding. But if nothing else is affecting me, then bodybuilding should be one of the least things that should put me down right so i don't know this is something kind of random that i was thinking in my head that i wanted to talk about for today's vlog rather than to actually do a vlog but yeah i have potential i just never really believed in myself and here i am you know someone who is ready to take the world on a couple years later in their life <laughs> i'm getting old so i really need to start making moves but yeah I definitely know now that I have the potential to do better. All right, take that message with you. I'm gonna go home and eat. Peace.